Hi there, it's Ron Gula from Gula Tech Adventures, and today I'm going to ask the question, is Signal safe for my desktop? Now, Signal, of course, is a secure messaging and file sharing app available for both mobile platforms and desktop operating system. It allows you to have a high degree of confidence that the person you're talking to is indeed who you're talking to, and the messages and files you're sharing uh, are shared securely. Now, the question is, is if you're going to put a lot of really interesting, juicy, top secret information in, in the Signal app, is Signal actually safe for your desktop operating system? Now, when I say desktop operating system, I'm talking about Linux, I'm talking about Windows, I'm talking about iOS. I had a friend of mine who's a senior mobile security uh, expert, and he actually asked me, you know, why do I run Signal on my complex operating systems? He said, that's your biggest, most likely degree of attack. So I thought about it, and I kind of realized that we look at all of our complex operating systems and we do amazing things to harden them. We add software, EDR, we add encryption to them, we harden them, we uh, we patch them. And because of all this, we feel that they are secure. The issue is that they're secure relative to many, many other things that are out there. I actually think if you compare the security of a modern desktop operating system to the security model of a modern mobile operating system, such as what you can get with a Google Pixel or an iPad, uh, it comes up woefully in ACT. In comparison, I think mobile operating systems are the hardest targets for offensive cyber people to target. And they, they're even harder than breaking in directly to like a Salesforce or a HubSpot. Like, no, nobody does that. If, if you're going to try to break into a mobile uh, a SaaS, you're going to try to fish me or take my accounts. Um, and even after that, I think the next hardest thing to break into is, is uh, well-designed, homegrown, business applications. I mean, we always hear about the occasional CV here and whatnot, but the vast majority of applications that are built and delivered on the internet are, are fairly secure. But then we get down to the modern operating system. And this is where you hear terms like living off the land. You hear terms like the MITRE attack framework, which uses to describe all the possible moves that we can do against Windows, Linux, and, uh, and, and, and OS X. They are the weak pin of the internet. So it's even worse than that because if you move into a large enterprise, not only do you have to harden everything that's on those operating systems, those desktop operating systems, you have to look at all the email, the chat, and the internet browsing, and then possibly you have to prevent it or break and inspect it. And then after you have a person working from home or allowing them to go to the internet, you have to do the same thing for their personal communications or you have to prevent those personal communications because we don't trust that somehow that's not secure or we route that through our own network. Again, raising privacy and security kind of boundaries. This is one of the reasons you still see people carrying two iPhones, two phones, one for work, one for home, one for personal business. But the reality is when I was at the NSA, I actually had one computer for top secret information. I had another computer for non-top secret information. The private sector doesn't really have this. Maybe we have a home computer, and a, a, a work computer, but we certainly don't have this concept of separate computing devices. And today we're actually getting into separate browsers. I might have one corporate browser, which has all of my controls, my privacy controls, enforced cryptography, enforced visibility of what those users are doing. And I might even have a personal browser. This is kind of where we're going. Now, having said all that, is Signal safe for your desktop? And this is really what the key question is. We don't have a good way to answer this as a cybersecurity industry. I've talked to many CISOs, many security friends. They don't care. They say it's not my attack profile. On the other hand, people will say, look, I'm willing to suffer the inconvenience of not having this most secure operating app on uh, an insecure operating system. But if that's the case, what about Salesforce? What about your box files? What about HubSpot? What about all these other apps? If you start playing the game of what is secure and what isn't secure for my desktop operating system, you go down this rabbit hole. You go down this rabbit hole really, really, really fast and you start ending up with almost, almost these religious beliefs of this computer is secure because of X, Y, and Z. Therefore, I can do these other things. It's a risk decisions. Now, what I like to tell people is that look, in the grand scheme of things, Everybody knows that your on-prem application and servers, you're better off moving to a SaaS application. You don't want to run email. You want to give your email to somebody who runs email for a living. Same thing with Linux. You shouldn't be running applications on Linux anymore. You should be removing that attack surface 
and moving things to containers. We all know this. What I want to add to people's vocabulary is that anytime you can take a user who has a complex operating system like Windows 10, Windows 11, Linux, OS X, if you can move those users to more secure platforms, Chromebooks, iPads, you are going to not only have a smaller attack surface, you're going to have users who are probably going to have a better experience and a lower cost because yes, you still have to monitor them, you still have to audit them, but you know you don't have to install an EDR on that. You don't really have to get a lot of, uh, of logging out of those things because the attack surface on those things is so much smaller. So this is also a reason why you've seen in the last year CrowdStrike and Sentinel-1 move into identity monitoring. If the future is hardened endpoints, hardened SaaS, hardened uh, 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 internal applications, then it's all about identity and understanding who has those identities and what they're doing that. So what do I do? Like I said, I move Signal to my uh, my iPad devices and my uh, my phones. I don't have Signal on my desktop anymore. And for Christmas, I've actually asked for a brand new iPad, which has the ability to run with multiple monitors and a uh, modern windowed operating system without you know the complexity of everything I have to do on OS X. If you enjoyed this video, come check out our other videos here at the Gula Tech channel on YouTube, on Vimeo, and on our website. Once again, I'm Ron Gula from Gula Tech Adventures. Thanks for watching.